Look, Lynx is over there. Quick, let's go see her. One zero one zero. Luca, you're here. I had a strange encounter. I was at the plaza watching people play cards, and I met a kind-hearted girl. She said she could help us repair the jade abacus we brought. But she was just called away by a few diviners and still hasn't returned. Yeah, isn't this girl a bit... much? Could you... There are too many unfamiliar people over there. The girl should be just over there, playing some game with other diviners. Locking off at work playing this game, right? You're one to talk, setting up endless scenarios in the Divination Commission. So it is you, President Ching. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. I was too engrossed playing. I didn't notice the time. Isn't this the Nameless? You're super popular in our circle. That's not the same. We Pathfinder fans definitely admire you more than others outside the circle. It's the Pathfinder fan circle. We heard that you relied solely on the Pathfinder to overcome the Heliobus possessing the Master Diviner. <laughs> That's definitely the highlight of the Pathfinder since its conception 300 years ago! But our President Ching said it was all down to your hard work! Okay, she and I have some things to take care of. Play with you next time! No! You guys can't leave! Gosh, she scared me. What do you want? It's not every day we meet a Pathfinder legend. We can't let you leave that easily. Hmm. You have to play around a Pathfinder with me or I won't let you take President Ching away. <laughs> I'll do anything it takes just to have a match with you. <sighs> just play around with her. I doubt she'll let go of this chance to boast about it. <laughs> Let's play around! You ready to have a match with me? Sure, lightning quick!
don't call you a legend for nothing, Nameless. You solve my riddle in a flash. Pathfinder, once you play, you'll forget about hatred, love, and life itself. In the Divination Commission, we play such a magnificent, bold, and fiery game. Satisfied now? Then we'll be off. We'll come find you tomorrow if we're free. Hold on! Recently, our Pathfinder Circle has also been organizing a major event, taking advantage of the momentum for the war dance. Not just for those in the Lafu. Many of our like-minded brethren on other Sienjo ships have also come. You may have seen our ad we put out in the papers. You should join if you're interested. If you join up, our first major event will be considered a wild success! Fantastic! Looking forward to it! <laughs> Who would have thought that you'd be so immensely popular in some weird circle? Is this the friend that you mentioned, Luca? Pleased to finally meet you. I keep seeing you in the news. My name is Chingche, a diviner from the Divination Commission. Miss Lynx has told me everything. She also said she found some rare antique that she hopes I can fix. At first glance, I knew it was a jade abacus. And an old model from centuries ago, too. Out of curiosity, I accepted the job to restore the data inside it. Nothing gets past you. You know that the Master Diviner has returned to the Yuche on business? Before she departed, she left me with a mountain of data, spreadsheets, and even more data and spreadsheets. My eyes were seeing stars. Now that such an opportunity has fallen into my lap to restore an important historical document, strictly speaking, taking this job doesn't count as slacking off. And I might even get to unveil a fascinating tale. Why wouldn't I take the job? And I've actually already restored part of the information. But Link said that you have to be the first one to look at it, because the owner of this Jade Abacus is your idol. She's right. Thank you, Lynx. Let's play the recording, then. Trust me. With your skills, you'll surely make a name for yourself if you join the Interstellar Circuit. Prize money, fame, things others can't achieve in a lifetime, all within your reach. Of course I'd be thrilled to win, but what I truly hope for is that people will listen to my post-match speech. I know what you're thinking. I've heard about your home's plight. Honestly. Many worlds have been attacked by Nanook's mad legion. So I must remind you, the audience paid good money to watch a thrilling show. They're not interested in your words of woe and weal. Igor, you sure are a miracle. For a competitor hailing from a frontier planet to get into the final at Pier Point, it's something only a handful have achieved. So cheer up a little. I'm just a plaything for their entertainment. What I've had to do. Severing my perfectly good arm and replacing it with an IPC prosthetic. All to make the matches more dangerous and thrilling. <sighs> if Mom saw me in this state, she would be heartbroken. If your mother saw the prize money you won, she'd understand. Can my prize money buy me an army? If you want to buy a mercenary army outfitted with standard gear, you'd have to defend your champion's title at least 20 times and accept countless endorsements. Can you last that long? Can your home? before the Antimatter Legion invaded. 
When he participated in all the fighting tournaments across the cosmos, he would address the audience with a speech after he won, hoping that would raise awareness about the Antimatter Legion and save his planet. He really was an extraordinary person. Alas, the cosmos is infinitely vast, easily drowning out one planet's meek cry for help. <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't have spoken so flippantly about a fascinating tale earlier. It's all right. This is a chapter in history that's already happened anyway. Regardless, to be able to hear Igor's actual voice after seven centuries makes me more than happy. This section of information doesn't mention the Sienjo Alliance at all. I wonder how he fought his way to the Law Fu. Anyway, this is all the content that's been restored so far. I should be able to salvage some data, but I'll need a couple of days. Perhaps the subsequent data will be able to tell us why he arrived on the Sienjo. We'll contact you if there are any new findings. I'll stay at the Divination Commission for now. There are some other matters I have to handle besides restoring the Jade Abacus. I'll try my best to restore the data in the Jade Abacus, but it'll take some time. You go back first. I'm gonna take a stroll along the streets. <laughs> uh, looks like the Alchemy Commission should have given you a prescription as well. That doctor advised me to walk around the town and see more of the sights. If I can walk along the streets alone a few more times, I might be able to conquer my fear of the big city. This place scared the heck out of me when I first got here. <sighs> After all, in the future, I'll have to be like Igor, competing all over the cosmos for Belabog. I can't keep getting spooked and hallucinating all the time. 